Hello everyone, welcome to part one of our playthrough, solo playthrough of Old School Tactical, volume two. A Shane Logan design, a Mark Walker game from Flying Pigs Game. Our scenario is Hedro Clash, if you remember that. This is the uh, U.S. assaulting German positions, needing to take uh, four control hexes that are currently in German control behind their front lines. See, the German forces have four rifle companies, three second line infantry, a lieutenant, two sergeants, Three light machine guns, three Panzerfaust, and a sniper. Now, a sniper has some special rules over there you see on the left. May set up anywhere in the playing area. Doesn't have to reveal if moved onto by American units. It only reveals once it fires or moves. And its first shot gets the ambush modifier. So, even though he is on the map, <clears throat> he's not visible to anybody until he fires. The U.S. American Forces, 29th Infantry Division, have eight rifle, two engineers, a lieutenant, three sergeants, a mortar, three bars, one satchel. They enter on turn seven, and then on turn five or later, the 2nd Armored Division provides one M10 GMC tank. And you'll notice also the beginning of each turn, starting on turn 5, American rolls a 1d6 for tank reinforcement. Needs a 5 or a 6 for the tank to enter. So it may or may not enter on turn 5. I have rubble hexes in hex 19 and x20. The uh, American has one artillery strike available on turn 6. Okay, I think that pretty much takes care of our scenario introduction. Here's the setup. Uh, the Germans set up first, and you can see the position I have. These guys are in that other rubble hex over here. Basically, I gave the uh, second line infantry the Panzerfaust. Uh, don't have any idea where the tank might come in yet, but and you see the uh, American soldiers along the bottom here, where I intend for them to come in. So with that, I think we'll start the game. You'll see our turn sequence here. Uh, the first turn starts uh, on the reinforcements step, so <clears throat> we don't move the turn marker this time. And with our no reinforcements on turn seven, we've attached our leaders and weapons uh, the way we want them. Uh, we don't have to adjust smoke counters. There's no scenario rolls uh, for this turn. There's no rally or bog roll, so we go to the initiative roll. So again, the blue dice are the Germans, the green dice are the Americans. And the initiative roll, looks like the Germans will have the initiative. And you'll see our next thing is the impulse row. Now, notice on the scenario, the Germans have 2d6, and the Americans have 2d6 plus 4. So let's go back and roll for our impulses. Germans will have 8. And the Americans will have 13. So I don't have a 
on the camera, but uh, I'm going to change, put the impulse points here on 13 for the Americans and 8 for the Germans. Okay, then we go right into the player turns. So the Germans again have the first impulse. They have the initiative. Since they have fewer, they do not have to move. They can they have fewer impulse points than the Americans. They can just pass for free. And um Looking over the map, seeing if I might want to move some people somewhere. I think probably the best thing to do is to save their impulse points for uh, firing, because there may be some opportunity fire opportunities here. So I think the Germans will pass. That goes to the Americans. And we're going to start here with our engineers right here. They're going to move. Since they don't have a leader with them, they're going to spend one impulse point. I moved it down to 12. They're going to move one there. I don't believe anybody can see them at that point or have a shot at them two there and again the same it may be actually well I don't think there's any doubt he's visible there but one two three four five six seven eight let's well, see no too far out of range don't have a LMG in there so he's out of range and then he's going to move there for three and Sergeant Roth Roller, they do have a light. Um, they actually can see them. The Bocage actually runs along. Even though it shows it straight, the rule book says it actually is on the hex side. So this particular one would be on that hex side, and we are to the right of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he does have a shot with the light machine gun. It has a range of eight. The... You look at the, they're in the orchard. The orchard provides a plus one defense. And it is degrading train, but we're not going through anything before then. So what would happen is uh, the machine gun would fire basically a two shot. And I need to do this also. They have moved. It'd be a two shot against, uh, remember, their defense is four plus the orchard, so it'd be five. So it'd be firing on the minus three table. Uh, would get a plus modifier because of the, the sergeant in the stack there with him. But a minus three, pretty much have to roll. An eight, well, seven, I guess, because you have the leader um, to even get a shaking result. I think, uh, and he can always, he can always take a shot later. So I think we're gonna 
The Germans still have this type eight to twelve for the Americans, so they're going to go ahead and pass again. Next, I think these other engineers, the engineers have a satchel with them. They're going to move into the same place. And they're both moved, and we're going to reduce our impulse points by one, so they now have 11. The Germans are still at 8. I think they are still going to pass at this point. So we go back over to the Americans. Lieutenant Harris here has a, a rifle company with a bar that he's attached to and then another rifle company. So for two impulse points, they're going to move. So they are now at nine. They're going to move there for one. Nobody's really got a shot at them. They're going to move there for two. There for three. And that's a big juicy stack. Yeah, he'd be going through. Yeah, I'm going to shoot. I'm going to go there for four and finish. Finish their movement there. They, move. they have moved. <clears throat> Let's see. What do we have up here? The Ralph Company did not have anybody, so there's six. I think anybody's got a shot. The uh, Germans still are eight to the Americans nine, so they're still going to pass at this point. So we'll go back to the Americans. We will move over here to Sergeant Wishick as a rifle company with a bar that he's attached to and then another rifle company. So they're going to move up here one two, three, and four. And they have moved. Now, Sergeant Bond up here can see them. Wheat fields do give a little bit of they give uh, a defense of plus one, but they are not blocking or degrading terrain. So basically, basically he can see you right through there. Now this Bocage does give a plus two defense when it's fired across uh, to the adjacent hex, uh, and you can't see beyond it. It, it is blocking terrain. Uh, so in other words, Sergeant Bond cannot see to these hexes, but he can see right here because they're adjacent to it. So if you did shoot, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, so a range of everybody. So we'd have a four plus a two. Uh, it'd be a six against their defense of four plus the bow caught to two. So it'd be a, basically an even shot with the plus one die roll modifier. So I think he wants to take that shot. I need to be sure to remember to move the Americans down there and out seven impulse points. So the Germans will use one impulse point. They are also at seven. And they will take an even shot. So it's going to be on the zero column. So 
and he does have a leader so basically a five or better will will get some type of result um, and that's it he rolled a five so that comes in a six so that is a shaken result and I'm sorry I would have had to announce who I was shooting at we're going to shoot obviously at the folks with the bar the the t uh, squad with the bar. So the bar needs to make a gut check. And we need to mark him as fired. So they need a gut check. Their gut check value is seven. And they passed it. Now, in this game, as opposed to like probably maybe some other war games you're used to, the higher rolls are better here. Totally opposite from like advanced squad leader where lower numbers are better. So your gut check is seven. You have to get a seven or better. And since the, the squad passed their gut check, the uh, leader does not have to even make one. Had the squad failed their gut check, the leader would have also had to pass a gut check because he was attached to that squad. Okay. So the Americans have seven left. And they're going to need four of those to advance people. So I think the next group to move up is going to be Sergeant Barnes here with a rifle company and a mortar that he's attached to and then another rifle company. So they're going to spend two, takes them down to five, and they're going to move one hex and two and move right in there. So they are moved. Now the Germans have to do something because now their impulse points are higher than the Americans. So, he's going to go ahead over here. He's going to fire at those folks again. And he will be used. So, again, we're on the zero column with a plus one. And that'll be nothing. And the Germans are down to six impulse points. Okay, the Americans have five left. I think Sergeant Mathis over here has a rifle with a bar that he's attached to and then another rifle company. The you know, decision is whether he wants to try to advance towards the folks that have been shooting on his buddies, or if they want to snuggle up to the hedgerows. You know what, I think first I may just have these guys shoot. Now they have moved, but they can fire again. It cost them two impulse points to fire everybody. They would be firing a four, a five, and a nine. So that would be a pretty good shot. Plus the leaders not so a nine against a six. So they're gonna shoot and they're gonna be used. And that's gonna cost them two, so they're down to three. So Look at our ICT. They got a nine firing. Let's say a six, so they're going to have a plus three. So basically, anything four or better will get some type of result. Okay. Uh, ooh. They're not shooting too good either. That is nothing. 
That is nothing on the ICT. Okay. So the Germans have more impulse points now, so they're going to have to do something. I don't think really anybody's got a place to shoot right now. Uh, he's got a light. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he can shoot them. Pretty sure that's going to go through. Yeah. I'm still behind the cover there. So basically will be shooting a minus four shot plus a, a plus one for the leader. That's about the only shot that's available to him. So I guess that's what we'll do. We'll take a minus four shot from here to here, shooting at the mortar platoon squad. So a minus four shot, again, we're going to have a, we basically need an eight or better to do anything. So, and that to nine. So it's going to do something. Let's see, a nine is going to turn into a 10 on the minus four is a broken result. So the squad is has to pass a gut check or they will be broken. Uh, six, they did not pass the gut check. So the mortar squad come in here and get these guys. This is the squad with the mortar and put them on the bottom. They are broken. Another squad and the leader. And we also need to check, go back and check and see if the leader, he also has to pass a gut check. Uh, he did. So the leader passed the gut check. The squad is broken, and these guys are fired. And that cost the Germans one there, down to five. Okay. Well. Sergeant Mathis over here. I'm going to spend two impulse points and move. Still not sure where I want to move them to. I think he's just going to go straight at them. One, two, three, four. Oops. One, two, three, four. Yep. Okay. They are moved. And I don't know. It's right along the hex spine, so he will not be able to see there because that's. They can't see each other, so that worked out pretty good for him. Okay, so the Germans now have four impulse points. Americans have one left, so let's see. What do the Germans want to do? This guy's up here in a nice place of shelter. Have a second line and a rifle company. They're in a structure. Gives pretty good protection. I think they're real crazy. These guys 
I have a rifle company and a light machine gun. They're in rubble, which is the best protection. It's plus three. But I can't see anybody yet. I think we're going to have, we're going to spend one. We're down to four on these guys. The rifle company is going to move there for one. This is farmland, which is one movement point and, and does nothing. No, no hindrance, no obstruction. Anything. So that's one. And I don't believe anybody can see them. And then they're going to move two. And they're going to move three. So they are moved. Now, at that point, uh, nope, again, that is right on the hex spine going into the hex, so they're, these guys can see them. The engineers, they just have a range of three, so it doesn't do them any good. So they move there safely. Okay, the back to the Americans. They have one impulse left this turn. And I think, let's see. I think just just to help, Sergeant Barnes is going to try to help these guys rally from their broken status. Um, and they'll be used. Uh, so that's what he's going to do. That cost one, one point. They need a nine. Uh, plus they have a leader, so they need an eight. Need an eight to lose the broken status. They get a seven. Okay, in this game, when you try to make a gut check against broken and you fail, you go to shaken. Okay, so the Americans are out of impulse points. Germans still have four. So I think for one impulse point, these guys are going to shoot again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're going to just shoot the machine gun. Still not much of a shot is going to be used. So they've got a two. Shooting at a six. So a minus four. Plus one die for the uh, leader. Uh, seven. Seven on the minus four is going to be an eight on the minus four. And that is nothing. No effect. Okay. Uh, Americans have no impulse points left. Germans have three. I just don't tell you what. They're going to spend one and move out of here and move into here. One, two, three movement points. Uh, 
That way they're in a house maybe can help slow the American advance down on this side. Okay. Now let's see. The problem with the camera. Always wants to do that for some reason. Come back. Well, okay, now it's back. Yeah, the camera's got a maximum of 30 minutes that it can do stuff, record, and then it blanks out for some reason. So, anyway. Okay, so the Germans have two impulse points left. I think these guys are going to try. There is checking real quick. There's a thing called cover that says uh, all units may attempt to improve their defensive position even in a structure. Uh, you spend uh, an impulse point, roll a d6 and five or six. Uh, you have a successful cover counter placed in the hex and adds a plus one defense to all units in there. So, I think these guys are gonna do that. So they're gonna spend one impulse point are down to one and we're going to roll a d6 and a five or a six they're good nope so they don't get anything there americans are out germans have another shot they're going to do the same thing i'm going to try again five or six Nope. That will be it. Everybody's down to zero. That is the end of turn seven. So, uh, melee phase. We have no melees anywhere on the board. Remove unit markers. Okay, so all of these are going to come off. And a couple more. Okay, that's all of them. Uh, score victory points. We have no victory points. End of turn. Okay, so we go back, advance the turn marker. So the turn marker advances to six. And on six, the U.S. gets an OBA. I'm just going to put this marker here. It doesn't mean they have to use it this turn, but it means it's available this turn and thereafter. So we are on turn six. And that looks like a perfect place to stop for this turn or at least for this video 
and the next one will be shortly thereafter because I think I'm just going to keep playing. But I think just keeping the videos short, this is going to be about 35 minutes, so that should be about right. So thanks for joining me. Uh, turn six, part two will be coming up shortly. Thanks, folks. Appreciate you joining me. Please leave me any comments. If I miss something, please point it out. At least maybe I can talk about it in the next video or somewhere down the road uh, to correct errors that I may have made. Um, appreciate it. Hope to see you soon. Thanks.